If you're looking to buy any Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use code IHAS for 5% off at checkout. There is also a new pack feature on the site, so make sure to try that out. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the marquee matchup predictions for this week. So I have a couple games we're going to be looking at. Last week we didn't do too well, we only got one game correct, but hopefully this week we can get all of them right. So the games this week, again, they're not too many of the games will be definite. It's sort of just rivalry between like positions in the table from most of the different leagues. But I'm going to go through the games that I am going to be sort of looking to invest in this week. All the games are on the screen now, so we have Stoke versus Wolves. We have Barcelona, Villarreal, Adelaide United versus Melbourne's victory. So again, we're back looking at the A-League. In the Barcelona Villarreal match, I'd recommend looking at the Spanish players and then the Stoke Wolves game, probably just any players in the league or to do with them clubs. So for Stoke Wolves, I reckon we could see a mix of maybe gold and silver cards. Because if you look at gold Wolves, there aren't actually too many cards on the market. You could be looking up for like a Cavalero. So he is a CDM, so I'm not too sure if you want to be picking him up. But those are actually the only gold cards for Wolves that there is. So if we take a look at just maybe a couple silver cards for Wolves, you can pick some up quite cheap like Savile on the snipe there, 350 coins, not too bad. That's a decent investment because if this game gets picked, all of the cards will be rising up. Again, you probably want to be picking up a couple cards from each team, most like the key position. So Ikeem there, goalkeeper for Wolves, he's the key position. And I'd only pick up a couple cards from each of the clubs. So as this game is actually an FA Cup match, looking at the league, you might not want to actually pick players from the league because they're in separate leagues itself. Since they're both in English leagues, there might be like an English requirement on the team or maybe a different nation requirement, something like that. So maybe if we look at Stoke players, the likes of Glenn Johnson, English or Crouch, you could go with English roots on this one or you could go with sort of multi-nation because I reckon they might do one player from each squad and then it could be like a minimum of like five nations, for example, something like that. But I reckon if you're going to pick up Stoke players, go for some of the gold cards, to be honest. Maybe you want to pick up like a Shea given in goal. 450 coins to be honest. I'm not too worried about if I make a loss anyway. But yeah, since they're in separate leagues, FA Cup draw, I'm not too sure. It'll definitely require one or two players from each of the squads. And then I reckon they'll have to do something with nations or they could do like a couple players from the Prem, a couple players from the Championship. For the next game, Barcelona at Villarreal. Last time when we saw a match in La Liga Santander, I believe it was Spanish players you needed and I could see EA doing that again. If we look at the Villarreal players, actually, they aren't very expensive at all. You can still pick these up for near their minimum. So I recommend picking up Villarreal players. I would say look more at the Spanish cards, like Fernandez in goal, Spanish goalkeeper, Villarreal. Decent buy there. They might do like a number of different nations or they might just do a set number of Spanish players. So I'd recommend picking up some Spanish players from both of the teams and maybe just some cards in the league itself. So if you actually take a look at the Barcelona card, these are a lot more expensive as usual, to be honest. And if you look, say we just pick up like a Suarez, they're quite cheap. And if you didn't see my video yesterday, anyway, the Liga Santa there will be used in the FUT Champions. So if you're picking up these cards, you sort of like have a backup plan if it goes wrong anyway, because they'll be used in the FUT Champions knockout tournament so the third game in the a-league adelaide versus melbourne so again in the a-league you're going to be looking at the silver players probably to be honest and most of these cards have already been price fixed so last time we saw an a-league game it required i think it was one from each club and then it was a 11 from the league itself but i don't really know if they'll do league again they might want to change it up so there's a small chance that ea might do like one player from each squad and then they, all of the players have to be australian or from Australia, they could do something like that, or they could do, again, like different nations that would be needed in the squad. So I'd recommend picking up a varied amount of Australian players and other nationalities. You might want to stick to both teams or just pick up any players in the league itself, like a right back, I know I'm paying 600 coins, but right backs always rise up quite a lot in price anyway, center backs as well. They will go over a thousand coins. So if you're paying under a thousand coins, you'll still make profit, but there is a higher risk if the players aren't actually used. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have a video regarding player of the month investing coming soon. We haven't actually had the shortlist yet, but it's going to be looking like it's going to be Ibra or Lalana probably. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next video.